Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can batch edit transactions in your QuickBooks company file. So over the last 20 years, many thousands of businesses have come to me um, with a problem with their data file. And they're looking for a solution so that they don't have to manually rekey or edit thousands of transactions in their file. They're looking for a way that they can automate that. So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can do that. Now, before I start off, um, I'll just explain two of the categories of data issues that I come across. The first one is what I call a class or an account categorization issue. So that might be that the uh, incorrect class has been used on a number of transactions, or it could be that um, incorrect categorization of account has been used. For example, you know, they might have been tracking motor expenses in a generic category where they actually wanted to break that down into motor expenses and say fuel or tolls or insurance and so on. And what they're looking to do is to take those transactions and recategorize those um, in batch in QuickBooks. Now, the second type of issue is something that's outside that. So it might be any other field that's on a transaction in QuickBooks that needs to be changed, removed or modified. So that, for example, that could be that they want to add in a sales rep on all their transactions so they can correctly categorize or attribute sales to one particular rep. Or it could be that they want to go back and batch print a whole load of invoices, sales receipts or checks and so on. So all those larger type data issues fall into the second type of category. Now, the reason why I break it into those two categories is the solution depends upon what you're doing. So what we can do now is look at how we first off address the type one categorization issues to do with class or account. Now, this can be done from within QuickBooks. Now, this is certainly restricted to a QuickBooks Accountant or QuickBooks Enterprise. So let's have a look on the desktop and see how we can do that. So I've opened up the sample file within the QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions Edition. And now I'm going to go to the company menu and select the option for accounting tools. And then the first of those is the reclassify transactions. So what you're going to see in this screen is the main area where you can edit transactions in batch, either to edit the account that's being used on them or to edit the class. So first off is in the left hand side is this panel here, which allows us to find the transactions that we're going to edit. Now, the way that QuickBooks allows us to find those is by filtering um, by a date range. So I'm going to put this out to into the future when I actually ended these transactions. And it allows us to filter by um, whether the transactions were accrual or cash. And we can also select only those transactions which are expense accounts, profit and loss and so on. So I know that I um, want to recategorize an account that was used and the particular one I'm looking for is an account called travel and we want to be able to make that more detailed so we need to know what of these travel expenses that were entered what were those that were particularly used for say taxis so as you can see here in the results screen of all the transactions that have used this account within these particular date range um, there are five here that we would like to recategorize. So what you can what you can do is you can or have the ability to select these in batch. Now we're going to move all of these away from the travel account. We're going to move that to travel and a sub account of taxis. For all the transactions selected in this grid, change the account to, and we're going to roll up here. And because travel doesn't have a sub, a nice feature that we can do is the ability to um, 
add a new category. So you can see travel doesn't have a sub. So we're going to go add new, which is a sub account of travel. We're going to put this in as taxis. And save and close. So here again, we can now categorize to the new subcategory. And when you're ready, you can select the reclassify button. You also have the ability to assign a class to that. So I can um, put that in as a, a class against that as well. And then when you're ready, you can click reclassify and QuickBooks will go ahead and now has batch updated or reclassify those transactions as we wanted to. So that's exactly how this batch or reclassify transaction feature works within QuickBooks. And that gives some, you know, some considerable amount of um, time saving that can be used using this feature. But again, it's, it's only restricted to actually modifying or changing the account on the transaction or the class. So if then any other fields that need to be changed, and that's gonna, not gonna be possible using this method, which is why in the next section, I'm going to show you how you can do that using um, a utility. So let's take the scenario where the um, QuickBooks users realized that this has actually been built to the wrong job. So it shouldn't have gone to Easy Street. It should have gone against Birch Road. Now, they also then need to update the rep to make sure that the commissions are paid to the correct rep for those jobs. And they've also decided that they want to say, add a new piece of information um, against these lines to show the warranty numbers or the serial numbers for those particular items. So there's quite a lot of data that needs to be changed. And then if you multiply that by the number of invoices that have been incorrectly entered, you've got quite a large job in terms of recategorizing re or editing data within QuickBooks. And that's going to take a lot of time for a user to do that. So how can we do that without having to just manually do that within QuickBooks? So the answer really lies in a third party utility that I'm going to show you now. Um, that's called Z axis. So this is a data import and export utility that can be used to batch edit transactions in QuickBooks. Now, the good thing is that you don't have to have any particular version of QuickBooks to do this. It works with all versions of QuickBooks desktop and also online. So we can first off connect to that file. It's connected to our um, sample QuickBooks file. And the first step in the process is to actually extract the data that we would like to batch update. So I'm in the export module. I'm going to export out the invoices that we wanted to recategorize and edit the data for. So I'm going to filter those for all those which are for Easy Street. And I'm going to go and let Access grab those from QuickBooks. So what you'll see is it's taken all the detail and it's put it into a simple table like this. Now, the, the nice thing is we can now extract this out to Excel and we can then edit it in Excel. You also have the option, if you like, to delete them from QuickBooks in batch as well. So if you wanted to remove them completely and then re-import them, that's a possibility too. So we'll select Excel 27. We'll select Excel and we'll click on OK. Now I've opened the Excel um, spreadsheet that contains the um, invoice that we want to edit in. And first off, we're going to change the customer job. So we'll go back into QuickBooks. So we're first off, we're modifying the job from Easy Street to Birch Road. So So once that's done, it's very easy, obviously, to batch edit those because we within Excel, you can um, copy down 
and we're going to update the cells wrap so we can come and find the cells wrap field here so we'll update the cells wrap to kr and we're going to copy those down to And then what we also need to do is once we've changed this, though, we're going to reprint those and resend those out. So we're going to select, uh, put that to true. And true. Okay, and then we'll save that. So once we made those changes, we're going to go back into um, our invoice so we'll now go back into the import area we're going to browse for that excel sheet where we made the changes and we're going to create a new mapping so we're going to go in here we can say add a new mapping we'll select the invoice as a type of map they're creating so we'll map against the fields that we know we've definitely changed. So we're going to map in the customer because we've got that against the new job. We are also going to need to map in the invoice reference number because that's how Axis is able to find um, the invoices that we need to change. We're going to put in the update the is to be printed status. And we're going to do the sales rep as well. We'll bring back in the item. We're also going to add a little bit of information about the warranty. So we're going to use that in the other one field. We'll put in um, some information about under warranty. And we can put that in as a current constant. We don't necessarily need to put that in as every field and we can click save. So when we're ready, we select the option to overwrite. So that's to go back in and update the information on these particular invoices with this new fields that we've modified. So we can go ahead and um, import those in. So you'll see a progress update of how those transactions are being modified. And when it's complete, we can actually click on this link here to view that directly in QuickBooks. So here's the details of the job that's been updated here. Um, we've updated the sales rep. We marked it to be printed. Also see that that um, detail has been added to the, the line item as well. So that's very simply how you can use Z-Axis to batch edit any, really any field on, a, on an invoice or any transaction using ability to export out the data, modify it in Excel, and then re-bring it back in. Now, Axis also has the ability to so it also has the ability to either append data, so that's to add additional rows to an invoice. Say like a shipping charge needed to be added to a whole series of invoices, it could be done as well. As you could probably see, um, that's just another more powerful way of being able to batch edit transactions, really any transaction in any field in QuickBooks um, and any version of QuickBooks too. So it's a really powerful way of batch editing transactional data within QuickBooks and can save you some considerable time.